This is a 3D printed prototype of a bottle that I designed. It's an SLA part, it's one millimeter thick, and this is what you get from a major North American service bureau. It's translucent at best. I'm gonna show you how to make it transparent so that you can read through it. Don't forget to follow me on social media, on Twitter, at Bots and Design, and now on Instagram, at Bots and Design. I always post stuff there long before it gets to YouTube here. My name is Eric Strebel. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. I hope that you like, enjoy, and become a subscriber. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, and then you hit the bell. Hit the bell again so you get the little parentheses around it. That way you'll be notified every time I have a new video. Don't forget to check out the design and making merch just below the video on the shelf. T-shirts, hoodies, stickers, leggings, and phone cases. So when the FedEx guy or the UPS guy drops this off, I often only have a little bit of time. So normally I'm making FDM prints like this and I'm showing them my clients, but sometimes they want to actually see what a clear bottle looks like because they're going to blow mold this thing and they want to see what a clear bottle that I designed looks like before they spend all their money. So I don't have a lot of time sometimes, literally a couple hours often, and I got to make this part look better. It looks like shit. You know, it's got scratch marks all over it. I don't know how this passes quality control at Stratasys. I mean, come on, this is terrible. So the best I can do sometimes is just clear coat the part with a little bit of Duplicolor clear in a can. You know, and get something sort of halfway decent so I can take it to my clients so they don't fall on the floor and go, well, what is this, Eric? This is what you get when it dries. It's okay. You can kind of see through it. It looks halfway decent. It's representational of a clear bottle. Eh, it's average. I'm going to show you how you can make it so it's transparent and you can actually see through it. Before we do that, I need to talk to the haters out there that keep leaving me thumbs down on my videos. I make damn good videos, and I always want to make the best possible video that I can. If you're leaving me a thumbs down, that's bullshit. Man up. Let me know why you don't like the video, or don't leave a thumbs down. Don't be a pansy. I want to make the best video I possibly can. So if you're going to thumbs down my video, you better damn well leave a freaking comment and man up and let me know why, or don't give me a thumbs down. I love all you guys leaving me thumbs up though. Keep up the good work, I really appreciate that. Thanks. So sometimes these bottles, they come with a scratch mark on the inside. And I gotta fix that, so you need a little sanding stick, fix that on the inside, and of course, wet sanding on the outside as well. We're gonna first wet sand this bottle to 320 grit. And here I got a couple sample bottles. After 320, we're going to go to the next step. We're going to go to 400. We're going to wet sand that, and they're going to have a halfway decent finish. Now, this was kind of super quick turnaround. I didn't have a lot of time, a uh, little bit of a test using some new materials and stuff, so uh, they don't have the greatest finish on the outside and only average finish on the inside. And the only reason I would be sanding these things on the inside is if we're gonna clear coat on the inside as well. Otherwise, I would leave that alone and not scratch it up because that's really not gonna help my cause. So this is what the part looks like. 400 grit, wet sanded on the outside and cleaned up on the inside. Yeah, that's right. Wear the appropriate safety gear. I'm using a two-part automotive refinish clear coat here. The mixture is four parts to one. It is urethane. It smells, it can get in your eyes, cause eye irritation. Wear the appropriate safety gear. All right, we'll mix this stuff up and we're gonna spray it out onto those bottles. But before we spray it out, we're gonna pour some on the inside and we're gonna coat this bottle. So coating it on the bottle is going to smooth out the inside basically. So you can't see very much here because it's uh, coated on the inside and the outside obviously as a 400 grit finish. Um, the proof will be in the pudding of course when we spray the outside here. So it doesn't look like very much at the moment. But I pour that stuff in and then uh, pour the rest of the stuff into the gun and we're going to coat the outside. I'm using some cardboard tubes here just so I can hold uh, the bottle 
without getting uh, urethane all over my hands. I'm just using an HVLP gun here, um, doing a couple, two light coats on this bottle. And you can see as that clear goes on, the part starts to become pretty transparent. Um, it doesn't look really great right now when you spray it out. The clear has to flow out a little bit and that's just the first coat. Alrighty, so let's compare the two. That's a pretty dramatic improvement. You can clearly see through the bottle. So that looks clear to me. And now I'm dealing with the clear coat that's on the inside of this bottle. And what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get it to drip down nice and even everywhere on the inside of the bottle. So this takes a little bit of effort, a little bit of patience, uh, a little bit of time so that we don't get any runs or uh, sags on the inside of the clear coat. Not the normal way you apply clear coat onto a product, but uh, in this case, it takes a little work. This is the part uh, after it's been sprayed. It's not dry yet. Uh, it still has a little bit of texture, but here it is all dry and you can clearly see through it. You can even see some of the little support materials on the inside. This is another project here uh, where there's about 16 of these bottles. Uh, yeah, this is a couple grand worth of uh, parts right here, boys and girls. I'm gonna take this one and do something a little bit nicer than we did on the first one. And I wanna kinda show you the differences of spending some extra time. Now this bottle right here has been clear coated on the outside. So finished to 400 grit um, on the outside. For whatever reason, when Stratasys made these bottles, since they cost a whole bunch of money and they were making a whole bunch of them, I kind of bitched about the other ones not being such great quality. They are printed and they're a, a lot nicer. I'm not sure what they changed in their process, uh, but those bottles that they sent me where I spent a whole bunch of money on, they really took their time. There were no scratches on the inside of those like there were on the other ones, and they came out really nice. So that one has been clear coated on the outside after the wet sanding, and I'm going to pour some clear on the inside. And this bottle turns out a lot, lot nicer than the other ones, uh, just because, I don't know, the, maybe a different process somehow there or whatever, but sort of the luck of the draw, I guess. I'm, I'm not really sure. But I do put in a fair amount of clear on the inside here, and you can see me rolling it on all the surfaces on the inside to make sure that they are coated uh, very nice. And of course, I can touch the outside of the bottle here because that's already been clear coated. And I'm taking my time, making sure there's no air bubbles or anything. And then here, I'm rolling the clear coat into the neck area, making sure that I get everything coated really nice and so we don't have any issues. So once I'm happy with the inside and it's clear coated really nice, I'm gonna dump out the excess clear coat uh, back into the container. And we'll put the cardboard tube on it here. Now, luckily I have two of these bottles so we can compare directly uh, one to the other. This one, the quality is much, much better. You can see it's uh, bordering on an actual plastic blow molded part. It looks pretty nice. Here's a quick flyby of the part drying pretty happy with that. Now check out the part on the left here. There's a little hazing at the top. It came that way from the factory. Don't know what that is. I couldn't get it out. But this part here is the part that we just clear coated on the inside. It looks very, very nice when you compare that to the one with no clear on the inside. And then the one on the far left is the way it's going to come from the factory clear. I mean, translucent. This is a huge improvement. So you can see, almost kind of make out the basics of my business card where it's just clear coat on the outside and with the clear on the inside and the outside, you can read the text of my business card. Super happy with that part. 
Let's add a little bit of water because ultimately these bottles hold material and my client wants to see what they look like with liquid on the inside of them. And so they want to see that. And you can see the one on the left, clear coat only on the outside. The one on the right there, clear coat inside and out. A little bit better simulation of what an actual blow molded bottle would look like. So if you or your company have uh, bottles that need to be designed, I can take care of that from design to production data and the prototypes as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can do that by clicking on the icon in the bottom right of the video or below the video. Give it a thumbs up and follow the channel there as well. Hey, and don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook sometimes, Twitter usually, and now Instagram. Rock on. Click here to check out some of the other design and making videos that I have that you might enjoy.